evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, January 29th, 2013. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Chip Ramsey with a Saturday Independent Newspaper. In the night's news, a jobless rate edged up across much of southern middle Tennessee last month. A Tullahoma mother was charged last week with prostituting her teenage daughter. The price to mail a letter went up on Sunday, and Senator Jim Tracy gets more support in his bid to unseat Congressman Desjardins in 2014. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Tullahoma Drug has a gift for keeping well. You know about prescriptions, but there's so much more to tell. There's a gift for all occasions, for body, soul, and mind. Cards to show you care, gifts to show your kind. There are remedies and recipes and treats, you'll want to eat them. Stacks of books from famous cooks and spectacles to read them. Shades and frames, puzzles, games, dishes, plates, and mugs. We're a Tullahoma treasure. We are Tullahoma Drug. This is J.D. Oliver here at the Smokehouse on Mont Eagle Mountain. My sisters Betsy, Nancy, and I would like to thank you for supporting our family business for over 50 years. Hello, this is Stella Parton, and I am standing here right in the middle of Jim Oliver's Smokehouse Restaurant. But you need to come in here. We just got through doing a show. We also have a music scene going on here, and I want to invite you to come down because it is your mountain destination. Music on the mountain in Mont Eagle, Tennessee. My name is Betsy Oliver. I'm the kitchen manager here. We serve a lot of ribs and barbecue and fried chicken. Hey, this is Sean Mayer, and I just want to let everybody know to stop in at the Smokehouse if you're ever on your way to Chattanooga or Nashville. They not only have a great gift shop, awesome food, great entertainment on Saturday nights, but beautiful cabins to stay in. Check it out. Make the Smokehouse your mountain getaway destination. Stay in one of our 84 lodge rooms and 20 timber frame log cabins. Look around our trading posts and eat in our delicious restaurant. Enjoy music on the mountain every Saturday night featuring the best of Nashville. Our family hopes to see you this year at Jim Oliver Smokehouse. Serving you as a local firefighter. Proudly served our country in the United States Air Force. Serving Tullahoma. Helping our kids. Hi, I'm Terry Stroop. Your comfort is our service. We'd like to thank Tullahoma for the privilege of serving your heating and cooling needs. Welcome back. The jobless rate edged up across much of southern Middle Tennessee last month. The State Department of Labor and Workforce Development says the unemployment rate in Franklin County went up by half a point to 6.9 percent last month compared to November. The Coffee County rate also climbed by a tenth of a percentage to 7.3 percent in December. The Grundy County rate was up by more than a half a point at 9.3 percent. The state says most of the unemployment changes resulted from seasonal factors such as tourism and reduction in school employment at the end of the year. Despite the local uptick, statewide rates remain below the state and national rate for the same time in 2011. Middle Tennessee State University economist David Penn says it appears that employers are beginning to add jobs and confidence is building. Penn says uncertainty about taxes, regulations, and federal spending is still a concern, however. A Tullahoma mother was charged for alleg allegedly accepting crack cocaine as payment for allowing her boyfriend and other men to have sex with her teenage daughter. Tullahoma Police Detective Harry Conway told the Saturday Independent that Kimberly Michelle Breeden, age 33 of Silver Street in Tullahoma, allowed her boyfriend and at least one other adult male to have sex with her then 13 <clears> to <throat> 14-year-old daughter over a one-year period between the summers of 2011 and 2012. Conway said the girl's father became came to police in September of 2012 after he became suspicious that his daughter might be in danger. The girl split time with living with the parent, both parents. Conway said there was, quote, some coercion from the mom, end quote, though he could not elaborate exactly how the child stayed trapped as a sex slave for Ivan Overman, age 39, and 57-year-old John uh, Thomas John Hickerson. All three adults were charged with statutory rape, incest, and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. The child was allegedly given crack cocaine, marijuana, and alcohol during the time frame she was raped by the two men. Detective Conway said the mother sometimes joined in with the men as they raped her child at the Eastgate Apartments. At least one more suspect may be, a, may be arrested in the case. Detective Conway said the investigation is on going. The trio is set to appear in the Coffee County in a Coffee County courtroom on February the 20th. 
The price for first-class mail single-piece letters increased by a penny on Sunday. The new 46 stamp, that's a forever stamp, will allow customers to mail a one-ounce letter to any location in the United States. Forever stamps are always good anytime in the future, regardless of price changes. The Postal Service also introduced a first-class mail global forever stamp. The new stamp will allow customers to mail letters anywhere in the world for one set price of $1.10. The Postal Service is a self-supporting government enterprise Prize, receives no tax dollars for operating expenses and relies on the sale of postage, product, uh, postage products and services to fund its over, overall operations. The U.S. Postal Service is the only delivery service that reaches every address in the nation that amounts to 151 million residences, businesses, and post office boxes. Shelbyville State Senator Jim Tracy says a pair of East State lawmakers are backing his planned candidacy for the 4th Congressional District seat in 2014. Tracy, a Republican, has said he will challenge the re-election of Representative Scott Desjardins. Senator Tracy says the said Republican Eric Watson, a Cleveland Republican, and State Representative Ron Travis, a Dayton Republican, have joined his leadership team. Tracy is one of several Republicans who have expressed interest in challenging Desjardins uh, if the Jasper Republican seeks a third term. We'll be right back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. It's nice to see familiar faces while enjoying great Sears low prices at your locally owned and operated Sears hometown store in Tullahoma and Shelbyville. Mike and his crew are a premier dealer where you'll find great Sears quality and availability at the lowest prices guaranteed. Featuring Craftsman Tools with Sears famous lifetime warranty, Craftsman Lawn and Garden Equipment, 10 major appliance brands featuring Kenmore, Electrolux and Whirlpool, Sealy Bedding, Kenmore and Dyson Vacuums, Nordic Track and Soul Fitness Equipment. And if it's not on our shelves, it's available online at Sears.com with free shipping to either location. Sears Hometown Store in Tullahoma and Shelbyville. We're right in your neighborhood. Do you have jewelry that you'll never wear? How about a broken piece that's stashed deep into your jewelry box? Don't let your unused gold jewelry gather dust. Get the most out of its value today. Bring it in to Woodard's Diamond Showroom for cash or store credit. Walk away with the cash or put your credit towards a beautiful piece of jewelry you will actually wear. If you need a repair, we'll have it looking like new in no time at Woodard's Diamond Showroom inside Northgate Mall of Tallahoma. You've won just about everything there is to win in racing. What's next? I'd like more people to know about ER Extra. The emergency room at Harton Regional Medical Center? I just want them to get the best care they can get. That just gets me right here, Mark. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to pay them a visit. <laughs> ER Extra at Harton Regional Medical Center. ER Extra. Extra fast, extra easy, extra great. <laughs> It's not Invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. It's a Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. Before these prices are gone forever. Welcome back. The Highland Rim Scottish Society will present their 18th annual tribute to Robert Burns this weekend. Jim spoke with Society President Chuck Lawson, who tells us more. The Highland Rim Scottish Society Burns Dinner will be at the Tullahoma Golf and Country Club, or Lakewood Country Club, uh, Saturday, February the 9th, beginning with uh, a social hour at 5 o'clock and all the festivities of the Burns Dinner will be thereafter. I will be the one addressing the Haggis, and it is a, an act that you do not want to miss. Haggis is a, was a food uh, in Scotland, which was uh, made, it was made by the cooks for lords and lairds of Scotland, and the offal that was left over was cooked in a sheep stomach with oatmeal and spices. That is illegal in the United States. Our haggis is made of uh, beef, uh, a little bit of liver, uh, beef liver that is, and some uh, recipes may have a little 
a little bit of lamb in it. Uh, we have chopped onions, spices, and it is cooked in a, 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 a turkey bag. Tell us a little, uh, a little bit about where the name comes from. Burns is a pretty uh, substantial character. In, in Robert, it comes from Robert Burns. Robert Burns was uh, uh, Scotland's poet laureate. He was born in 1759 and he died in 1796, so he died a very young man. Uh, but he wrote several volumes of poetry. Uh, he also worked for the, uh, he was a tax collector in Scotland. His poetry is world renowned. Um, I will be attending a Burns dinner this weekend in Atlanta, Georgia, at an exact replica of the house that he was born in, in Asia or Scotland. So uh, at that Burns dinner in Atlanta, it's all Burns poetry. How, how do you go about getting tickets if you'd like to go to that? You can call me, Chuck Lawson, at 931-455-2925. And the tickets are how much, uh, Chuck? 35%. 35%. And you, you have a deadline? Uh, when yes, we do. The dinner is February the 9th, and the deadline for the tickets is uh, February the 5th. We only have 120 seats, and of those, 90-something are gone. So we're, we're, about, we're, we're about to get full. So, But... We'd love to have anybody, the, anybody. It's open to the public, not just Scottish Society members. And you definitely will enjoy it. It's quite entertaining. We will have several pipers there. We'll have a Highland dancer that, uh, that does the Scottish fling and the military dance or the sword dance that some may have seen. Uh, and several, several different uh, quotations of Robert Burns' poems. The Tulloma Chamber of Commerce held their annual membership banquet Saturday night. John Gray brings us this video as new president, Jeff Fishman, addresses the members. I appreciate all of you being here tonight and supporting me in this effort, and uh, hopefully we can do a good job for the Chamber of Commerce. Service to the Chamber of Commerce is a bit of an expectation in my family. Um, this year we're going to have, well, not five, I won't put the weight loss in there. Four, member, four measurable, attainable, and bold goals. We're going to grow our membership to 25%, 25% uh, for 426 members to 532. We will hold a, an aggressive, organized, and ultimately successful membership drive. A special thanks goes out to Hope Sartain and Jack Fuller, who have agreed to co-chair this extremely important committee Thank you, guys. We will, number two, we will attend more marketing advocacy events than ever before. We will ensure Tullahoma is in front of the world as a great place to invest, live, and raise a family. Number three, we will kick off the Tullahoma Emerging Leaders Award Program. This will highlight the successes of our best and brightest young leaders in our community. Every good business should have a leadership succession plan, and the chamber and the city is no different. It is up to us to help create the leaders of tomorrow to carry our city to heights that we could only dream of. Another special shout out is to Hunter Trimble. Uh, Hunter has agreed to chair this uh, Tullahoma Emerging Leaders Award Committee, and uh, it's going to be a heavy lift, and I appreciate Hunter being willing to step up and do that. Number four, and finally, we will continue to proactively defend the interest of our business, our business community, by identifying issues and then on our supporters with the fact, the facts about those issues. We will continue to be a great advocate for commerce in this city. We have an opportunity and a responsibility to use what we're given to help nourish our community. The secret lies in how we treat each other. Teamwork is defined by Webster's as a joint action by a group of people in which each person subordinates his will or her individual interests and opinions to the unity and efficiency of the group. Thank you to this organization and the kindness of these people. I owe you all very much. I have participated in this organization for more than 15 years and have passed from a young man to middle age. I enter this office ready to help and call upon 
I pledge that your Chamber of Commerce will work tirelessly to keep Tullahoma ascending as Tullahoma's I mean, Tennessee's rising star. And finally, without the assistance of God, my loved ones, I cannot succeed at life. But with that assistance, I could not fail. Stay tuned. We'll be right back in just a moment. Citizens Tri-County Bank has offices in Tullahoma. And for your banking convenience, offices all across this region. At Citizens Tri-County Bank, we listen when you tell us what you want in banking. So at our beautiful new Tullahoma downtown office at 201 North Jackson Street, enjoy the kids' playroom, home-like fireplace sitting area, drive up 24-7 ATM, ample parking, and lighted and camera monitored drive throughs Citizens Tri-County Bank, the only community bank you'll ever need. Welcome to Camino Real, home of the area's most authentic Mexican food. Expect quality service in a friendly environment that features the only truly authentic Mexican food in the area. With favorites like tacos, fajitas, enchiladas, burritos, tostadas, freshly made guacamole and Mexican rice. All made from scratch using homemade Mexican recipes and only the freshest ingredients. Come and enjoy a meal at Camino Real with the great food, friendly service and warm atmosphere of Old Mexico. Welcome back. If getting fit in 2013 is one of your New Year's resolutions, the Manchester Recreation Center has a program for you and your family. We stopped by the rec center when spoke with director Bonnie Gamble for a preview of upcoming events at the center. I noticed as we were coming in that you're having something called a lockout or something like that to hear tonight. Tell us a little bit about that program. Well, just the opposite. It's a lock-in. Lock -in. And what happens, the children come here and they spend the night. So right now um, we have we do these periodically through the year. We usually cut it off at 60 children. So we're probably up at, to about 40 children uh, tonight so far. But they come and they uh, it's $20. Uh, you drop them off at 7 p.m. and you pick them up at 7 a.m. And we have uh, adults here and our teen council, which is our youth group that works with us. And they have fun. They'll swim at midnight. They'll get a meal. You know, they're having hot dogs and fries tonight, I believe. And they'll have games that they can play. And they, they just have a good time. And they get to hang out with their friends. So they love it. Not only that, if, if you're a parent, that's a great uh, way to get a babysitter for the night, is it not? Yeah, I think that I, I don't have children that age anymore, but I think it's pretty reasonable price. <laughs> so, you, I know you've got a lot of uh, other programs that are going on here at the Rec Center. Tell us a little bit about some of those. Sure. Um, we have, of course, January is Big Fitness Month, so as you can see in the background, we have a lot of people working out. We have a couple of cute programs that we're doing. One is swimming the Manhattan Island. You swim around the Manhattan Island. You record how many laps you're doing. We we uh, then change it into miles and we move you along the map and then you'll get a prize at the end and then we also have a walking to Hershey's Pennsylvania uh, we have a map that you will again record what you've walked or run within the rec center or the greenway come in sign in and then we'll move you around to get to Hershey Pennsylvania and you get a big chocolate bar when you get to there <laughs> so that's some of our fitness classes we started a lunch express on Monday through Thursday from 12:15 to 12:45. you can come in and get a short workout because lots of times people don't want to come in before work or they're tired by the time they get home here's a time to get out of your desk get up and you can work out so those are some of the fitness classes that we've started uh, especially for this time of year but we're also having a beauty pageant and that is february 16th um, and that's our Cupid's Sweetheart Beauty Pageant. You can register online. or Well, you have to come in because you have to bring a birth certificate to do that. But that's going to be held uh, February 16th. So that's a fun event that really draws a lot of people in. I understand that uh, you have just received a, a grant from uh, the, uh, I guess it's Tennessee Health Department? Yes, the Tennessee Department of Health. Uh, we gotten... Last year we had gotten a diabetes grant and an Eat Well, Play More grant, which we have used. That's developed some community gardens, our first one, and also our youth wellness room downstairs where we have an indoor playground now and a climbing wall and uh, cardio equipment.
equipment for children because they can't come up here to use the adult size. So we have equipment down there so they can work out. But we also just recently got a mini grant. It's called a diabetes mini grant. And what we're doing is we're going to develop a community garden over in the Manchester Public Housing Authority. We're going to put a garden right there at the Housing Authority. And the students from Westwood Middle School, they are going to be planning and planting the garden. So we're going to have a partnership with the schools, public housing, and parks to put together a community garden to bring some healthy food uh, to the residents in the housing authority, let them assume some exercise, getting outdoors, they can care for their plots that they have, but also the children are going to learn about healthy eating and nutrition and, you know, plant biology too. All right. Sounds like a great time, as always, here at the uh, Manchester Recreation uh, Department. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful facility here and well-maintained, and you guys do a great job. And uh, thank you so much for what you do for our community. Well, thank you, and we're so glad that people are, come here and really are enjoying themselves. So we want to get people healthy. And don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include Merrill Meadows from Tullamo Parks and Recreation, who will invite you out to play pickleball at D.W. Wilson this week. Rutledge Falls Baptist Church is sponsoring their second annual gospel concert series, and we'll also have all the details about American City Banks, uh, from American City Banks, James Fuller, who will speak to us about Dolly Parton's Imagination Library. All that and more on this week's Living. We'll be right back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. The highest standard of trust offers a sense of safety and comfort. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of trust in health care. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. Life moves fast, but on the internet, it moves at super speed. Like the awesome video that was posted last night. Today it'll be shared, then adored, then parodied. And then overexposed. And by tomorrow morning, rediscovered by a whole new generation of users. Download faster, upload faster, stream faster, and experience life at the speed of internet with high-speed charter internet. How long has it been since you raced a cheetah? Are your tornado creating skills getting rusty? Tired of being the only one in your neighborhood who hasn't built a dinosaur? Sounds like it's time to visit the Hands-On Science Center. The Hands-On Science Center is an indoor science playground. In this museum, please touch is the rule. Join us for weekly science demonstrations on space, lasers, lizards, rocks, and a whole lot more. No two visits are ever the same, so visit often to see our ever-changing exhibits and demonstrations. The Hands-On Science Center, 101 Mitchell Boulevard in Tullahoma. We're losing it, Doctor. Not on my shift. Quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor, Stat. Welcome back. The Tullahoma Lady Wildcats continued their rise in the District 8 AAA with a 45-36 win at Franklin County Friday night, their second district win in a row. The Rebel Ets entered the game with a 4-2 district record, good enough for second in the standings. Tullahoma's win improves the Lady Cats to a 3-4 in, di in the district, 11-9 overall, and moves them within a game of second place, which could gain them a first-round tournament by an automatic bid to the regional tournament. Contoria Alexander led the Lady Cats with 15 points. Deja Morris scored 8. Katie Lett had 7. Shayla Welton added 6. Aaron Lane assisted 5. And Anastasia Wellington had 1 point. Senior Mark Hill Hickerson continued his assault on the Tullahoma Wildcat record book Friday night during his team's 66-56 uh, win at Franklin County. Hickerson nailed five three-pointers on the night and broke Adam Barnett's record for three-point shots made in the season. Barnett had 169 and Hickerson now has 172. 
Next in his sights is class, uh, Cass Barnes, his 1,329 career point mark. Hickerson needs 137 more points to break that record. The win at Franklin County, combined with Lincoln County's loss at home Friday night, stretched the Cats' district lead to two games over the Falcons. In addition to Hickerson's 33-point performance, Tullahoma got a stellar night from Tyler Fishback, who scored 15. Justin Hill and Van Williams scored five apiece, and Zane Price and Joseph London had four points each. The Wildcats carried a 12 and 8 uh, overall record and the 7 and 0 district record into a non-district tilt at home tonight against Baylor. And we'll be right back in a moment with your weather forecast after these messages. Are you looking for a new car dealer that offers no games, no gimmicks, no hassles? Then look no further than Russell Barnett Kia. Keith Barnett here today with my nephew Clay to tell you about the all new 2012 Kia Optima. Yours today for $21,995 after rebates and incentives. With America's best warranty, the 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. No games, no gimmicks, no hassles. My question is, tell them, Clay. Why buy anywhere else? around for things other people get right away just doesn't make much sense. Get high-speed charter internet and enjoy downloads way faster than DSL. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1947 at 70 degrees. The record low was in 1977 at a chilly 1 degrees. The average high on this day is 48 and the average low is 28. For tonight, look for mostly cloudy weather with a low of around 62. Storms and wind in your forecast for Wednesday with a high of 63 expected and a low of 33. Mostly sunny weather in the forecast for Thursday with a high of 45 and a low of 30. And Chip, we had some questionable weather in the forecast last week about the snow and ice. We were fortunate, missed that, but uh, I saw uh, on one of your tweets today and we're possibly going to get some heavy, uh, serious weather tonight. As well. Serious weather conditions tonight and, and through the next couple of days. There's some uh, wind advisories. Uh, there is a forecast of 50% chance or so or better of tornadic activity throughout the mid-state. We've got a, a, a cold front right behind this really warm front we're experiencing right now. So some turbulent air out there. So yeah. be on the lookout. Looking at the uh, radar once again, we're right on the edge of that just as we were last week. So, you know. You never know. Chip says uh, be on the lookout. That's our News Leader Report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great night.